You know, there's a lot of wealth management companies who, yeah, they come on the show and they talk all over the place, and that's cool, but I love the fact that Marcus Warren comes in here and he has a goal here. He has a focus, and today's focus is the eight rules of retirement. Welcome once again, Mr. Marcus Warren. How are you, Marcus? Doing well, thank you. Marcus and I were out the other night. I saw him a little bit, and we chatted. Uh, I, I just, I like your style. I was, I was really uh, <laughs> eager to introduce you around. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, yeah. eight rules of retirement. You're going to break it down a little bit, so take notes, folks. I promise you it's good information. Yeah, so, you know, when we talk about the, the rules of retirement, you know, you probably can have a, a long list, but I try to break them down into really just eight, you know, basic rules because, you know, you don't want to clutter one's mind with, you know, rule 557 or anything like that. So we're really trying to keep things simple the way that we keep things at Warren Wealth Management, right? And so when we talk about retirement planning, Number one is that you need to, to think about retirement no matter what age you are. Um, if you are 53, I'm sure you're probably, your mind's probably more on retirement. If you're 27, you might not be thinking so much about retirement. If you're in your 70s, hopefully you have a retirement plan. But the one thing that I get from a lot of my clients, their one regret is that they just didn't start thinking about retirement planning earlier, right? And so there's a, there's a statistics out there that basically say, hey, if you have 30 years before retirement, if you save just $5,000 a year, by the time you hit retirement age, you're gonna have a million bucks, and that's averaging about an 8% rate of return. If you can average 10% rate of return over the course of 30 years, you're gonna have close to a million dollars, so you have to think about retirement no matter what age you yeah, are. So tell your college grad, and, and there's different phases and different thought processes as you age, but just think about retirement. There you go. Okay, there rule number go. two, this is according to Warren Wealth Management, is have a plan. Yeah, and so um, and I'm not just talking about a plan for saving money. As you get close to retirement, you need to have a plan for many different things. How much income are you going to have? Uh, do you have a pension? Uh, what about Social Security? Uh, how much does your nest egg have to be? Um, what kind of lifestyle do you want in retirement? But it all starts with source, some sort of system. You have to have a system for success because if you don't, uh, things aren't going to happen as much, but you have to have that plan. I, I think we said earlier, what if you don't have a plan, then you, then you can plan to fail, whatever we said earlier. Yeah, but, that's right. If you don't but, prepare, you're yeah. prepared to fail. And you have to have that plan. Absolutely. All right. Let's go to rule number three. Get out of debt before retiring. This is, you know, you think this is common sense, but harder, easier said than done, I guess. Yeah. And what we're finding out, unfortunately, is more retirees are starting to retire with more debt. And when you have that debt, it basically pulls away from what you're able to spend in retirement. And so um, uh, most people try to have their mortgage paid off, but we're really talking about that high interest or that credit card debt that you see there on the screen, right? Um, so you have to be able to pull some of that back because if you don't go into debt in retirement, you just have more money to, to travel, to spend on the grandkids, try not to have so much debt. All right, number four of the eight rules, make your money last. Okay, so define <laughs> that, make your money last. How do you do that? All right, so in order to, to make your money last, basically what we're talking about is how much should you pull from your retirement accounts once you retire? And so it goes like this. So. Uh, there is a rule out there, it's called the 4% rule. Basically, basically saying is you should pull no more than 4% of your income uh, from your retirement accounts. If you pull out more than 4%, then you could have, you have this possibility of running out of money. However, that rule is kind of, kind of outdated simply because people are living a lot longer and when that rule was implemented, it basically was based on the stock market averaging about 10 to 12% and bonds are fixed income averaging around six and a half percent. And so what we've seen is the stock market is more volatile than ever. And then of course, bonds and fixed income, they're just not uh, producing that those six and a half percent returns. And really when you hear financial experts, uh, financial advisors, they're ratcheting that 4% rule down to about 2.8%, but you have to make sure that your money can last. All right, coming in at number five is, uh don't forget inflation. You've talked about this a lot because I think sometimes people go, oh, I'm making this much money and this is the current market. Things right. will change, right? Right. So with inflation, inflation, um, I like to say they're like, uh, they're like termites, right? You really can't see it, but you know that it's eating away at that, that structure. And that's basically what uh, inflation has, has been doing. And we've been hearing a lot about inflation in the news a lot lately because we've seen the price of gas go up, used cars, travel, whatever it may be. Prices have started to go up. And so what can you do to fight inflation? Because inflation historically has averaged about 3%. 
And so in order to fight inflation, you have to make sure that you have growth investments because we all know that what $1,000 is able to buy today in 2021 isn't going to be able to say, buy the same goods and services in 2031. All right. Next up, uh, don't write off the stock market. OK, so there's there's some wealth advisors that will tell you to avoid that. You're saying don't write it off. No. Well, because, you know, the old adage is the stock market is a young person's game. As you get into retirement, you probably shouldn't play with uh, the stock market. But uh, that myth, well, that that's basically a myth. And the reason it's a myth is because you got to think about this. You're going to be spending 25 to 35 years potentially in retirement. And so I just talked about inflation, right? Mm -hmm. You have to keep up with the cost of rising goods and services. And in order to do that, you have to have growth investments. So what are growth investments? Growth investments are basically stock-based investments. And so what we do uh, at Warren Wealth is we try to have different income buckets, right? So you have a income bucket of one to five years. And that's gonna be more conservatively uh, uh, allocated because you're gonna need that money sooner. But then we also have these income buckets that last, that, that, that you're not gonna touch for 10 plus years. And so those are the types of investments that can be invested in the stock market. They have time to grow, and then you're able to keep up with things like inflation and have more money in your pocket down the line. And you just mentioned annuities, and that's rule number seven is consider annuities for income, right? Yeah, and so uh, annuities can be polarizing, um, and I'm not talking about variable annuities. Variable annuities to me are, are basically trash for the most part. I'm talking about immediate annuities, uh, fixed uh, annuities and then fixed index annuities because the one thing that one thing that all annuities are able to do is they provide income for life right income for life and so with uh, pensions not not being around anymore sometimes that annuity can take the place of that pension because you're basically creating your own personal pension and put you in a better spot down the line because um, you really never know, you really don't know how long you're going to live and annuities have been called longevity insurance. And because of your wealth of knowledge, I think this one is probably obvious to you now that you're watching is that seek professional help. Warren Wealth Management is the answer because I don't know yeah. any of this. You know, it's just interesting to me and you need this information. Yeah, um, you know, the bottom line is this. You have to have someone to guide you along, especially as you get close and in retirement because as you make that transition from working to retirement, you have to make sure that you have, you know, someone there to assist you with, with health care, assist you with things like inflation, uh, investment management, tax planning, all of those things. You have to make sure that you have somebody, especially a good fiduciary advisor, who can guide you along retirement. All right. Uh, let's, let's talk about a phone call with Marcus. Would you like to have a 15-minute phone call with Marcus Warren? You can do that right now. And he's going to talk to you not only about wealth management and some of the things we've talked about here, but about your personal story, income planning, retirement planning, tax planning. Now, you must be retired or nearing retirement and have 250000 in investable assets. What you need to do is visit talktomarcus.com to schedule your phone call. That's www.talktomarcus.com to schedule your phone call. I encourage you to do so, you know, because everybody's story is different. Yes. And no matter where you are in the process, you can help. Absolutely. And, you know, that 15 minute phone call gives us an opportunity to find out where you are, where you want to be, and then hopefully develop some sort of plan to get you there. All right. Marcus Warren, he's always a great resource. Thank you so much, my man. Appreciate Thank you. it. Appreciate it. All right. Coming up here, 25 again. You want some energy? You want your youthful good lucks? Wait till you hear Terry Anna's story. She's a mom. She is back in her high school clothes. Uh, well, not in those clothes, same size. There we go. Uh, we'll be back after these on Wave 3 Listens Live.